what's up you guys welcome back to my channel if you're new hello my name is Danielle I'm about to be a sophomore at the University of Georgia and let's talk about college make sure to subscribe down below for new videos every Wednesday and Sunday so today I'm going to be talking about how to have a great college experience how to get the most bang for your buck the best button for your shirt that doesn't make sense I'm so excited because this video is actually sponsored by Great Courses Plus, which I will have the link down below. So I have about 10 tips or so on how to have a good college experience. These are things that I did or things I wish I did this last year that would have bettered my experience and just kind of helps you feel fulfilled and I don't know, let's just talk. So my first tip is to get a job of some sort in the area, not like somewhere super far away, even if that's like at the Chick-fil-A on your campus or at a boutique somewhere. You should get a job for a couple of reasons. One, it brings you some extra money because I promise you're gonna spend way more money in college than you think. And it helps you to learn how to save your money and kind of figure out how to budget everything because so many of my friends were like, oh my God, like I have like no money left and I still don't get more money until next semester. You know, like it's a thing. So by having a job, it obviously gives you extra money and it just allows you to be social and meet other students because most of the people that work in college towns probably go to your school. Then you get new friends and then it's like a fun work environment and it could potentially bring you connections to other people and it's just great for your resume when you're applying to jobs after college, which is terrifying. My next tip or piece of advice is to know that your major doesn't necessarily determine your future. It is so okay to start with one major and end with another one at the end of the year. I started out being a business major and then during the year I like had this whole panic attack and I was like, oh my gosh, like I don't enjoy this. I don't enjoy punching numbers. I don't want to do this. I want to do something more creative. I want to do the advertising. I want to do stuff like that. So I switched and it's totally fine and that's so okay. But also if you graduate with like an agriculture, you know, major, you that doesn't mean that that's what you're going to be doing the rest of your life. Trust me. Next up, I want to talk about Great Courses Plus. Great Courses Plus is a way for you guys to get some extra education or to potentially help you with the current class you're in. So basically it's an on-demand video subscription service, which is absolutely great. You can access it on your computer, your iPad, your iPhone. There's so many different ways. And when you become a member, you have access to all of these amazing lectures from top professors around the world. Like not even in your state, not even in your country, around the world. I think it's really cool because they literally have lectures from people that went to the Culinary Institute of America, the Smithsonian, National Geographic, like that is stuff that I'm really interested in. And what I like about Great Courses Plus is if let's say you're in a marine biology class, they probably have a lecture that can help you to kind of learn it further because I know sometimes like I don't always love my professors and that's just life and that's just what's gonna happen. But maybe this professor on Great Courses Plus will help you out. Or what I also love about it is you don't even have to be a college student. You don't have to be in high school. You don't have to be in anything. If you literally just want to learn about something new, there's probably a lecture for you. <laughs> that just rhymed. But I just think that's so cool. Like, I love their message. It's literally like just giving you new education. And maybe it's something that you really enjoy or you can't afford to go to, you know, a big university. So you get to just learn on your own. I think it's awesome. And it's not all academic lectures. You know, there's literally how to play chess how to become a better photographer. I mean, there were so many different ones. I personally really enjoyed the how to become a better photographer one because that is something that I'm kind of new to still and I have this really nice fancy camera, but I don't know what aperture is sometimes and ISO and all that fun stuff. So it's been really fun to watch that lecture and kind of get to know more about it. The people over at Great Courses Plus are offering a free trial for any of you guys that want to try it out, which I think is great. So then it kind of gives you an idea if you like it or not, I think you're going to like it, but that way you're not like sucked in immediately. You know, you can try it out. If you guys want to check this out for yourselves, go to thegreatcoursesplus.com slash Danielle Carolyn. So yeah, that's kind of a gist. So I think, so I think the Great Courses Plus is a great way to kind of enhance your education if you're not feeling completely fulfilled in your class or you're not understanding your professor or you just want to learn something new and obviously there's no test no homework it's just purely for your knowledge which I think is so important like I love when people just purely want to learn because of they just want to learn <laughs> kind of on the same lines my next tip is to go to your professor's office hours this is something I completely regret not doing my first semester and I watched so many videos giving like tips on going to college and they were like you're gonna regret it but you're not gonna want to go to your professor and you should and that was literally me I didn't go I literally had to drop my math class first semester and I had to retake it second semester because I was having so much trouble with it and it was because of ha I was having trouble with the professor to be honest I I couldn't really understand her teaching but had I maybe gone to some more of her office hours, that could have been a different situation. So, and it's just good because especially at like a big university like where I go to, it's really nice to kind of, for them to put a face to the name so that when you're, they're grading your test, like, oh, Danielle has come in so many times, she's trying, like maybe they'll give you an extra point because they know you're trying. But if they don't know, 
they have no sympathy. Trust this me. might only apply to freshmen, but I know at some schools, like you kind of have the meal plan for a couple years. Talk to people at dining halls. The dining halls for me was a were a very social situation. I found every time I was going to the dining hall to get breakfast, lunch, dinner, whatever it may be, I was either alone or I was with friends. Like it's really normal to like go alone, but the first few weeks especially are so important just to like sit with new people like hey can I sit with you you make friends right away because it's not weird the first few weeks it's not weird to like talk to people so like do it like that is how you make so many new friends like I can't tell you the amount of friends like I made just from like sitting with people at the dining hall or like if my friend was like hey can we go sit with my friend I'm like sure and then I became friends with them too it's like really cool Another thing you should definitely do is if your school's into sporting events, you guys should totally go all out. Like I am blessed to go to a school like University of Georgia where we go all out for football and basketball and honestly any sport or anything. But it is just such a fun way to get the most out of your college experience. Like one of the reasons I went to UGA was literally because of the amazing spirit and the liveliness and just the unity almost and that is something that was so prevalent in my high school so I wanted to make sure it came with me to college wear some colored high socks you know wear the jerseys do whatever it makes you feel so good to like represent your school because it's a lot of fun tailgating is fun I mean it's just fun just have some fun promoting your school Kind of along the lines of the dining hall, get to know your hallmates or your neighbors. Let's say you're living in the sorority house, get to know the other girls that are living right next to you. You know, when you move into a dorm, leave your door open. Trust me, that's how you make friends. I have friends that like regretted not keeping their door open the first few weeks because you know, they would have known us, like we would all become friends sooner. Like that sounds really weird, but it is so important to keep your door open because then you're welcoming other people. Like I met one of my best friends daily across the hall because I kept my door open and they ran in doing cheers. Like it's just like, it happens and that's so exciting and it's so fun and my hallmates are some of my best friends. I was gonna say to this day, I mean, I've only known them for a year, but I know they'll be best friends for like life for me. This also could apply to your school, but learn the bus system or the public transportation around because there are gonna be days when it rains and you're late for class and you're like, boo hoo, I don't even have an umbrella, I have to run to class in the rain and you're miserable. Just get to know the bus system, look at the times, or you know, sometimes the bus is just faster than walking. Like I was so intimidated by the bus for like a couple months and then I realized it's not that bad. My school has an app that you can use to like track everything. It's not the worst thing in the world. And my last tip for you guys is just to kick back and have some fun. This is something that I'm really trying to like install in my mind because these are our last few years of like kind of fun, honestly. I mean, your adulthood is fun, but college is such a fun time because your parents aren't like on you all the time and you have like, you do have responsibility, but you can basically make your own decisions and you're living on your own kind of, but like with a ton of your friends and you get to go out and have fun. Like this is such an amazing time in your life. So just kick back and have fun. There were times this last year that I stayed back because I was worried about this or worried about that. And sometimes you just, you just can't do that. Sometimes you just gotta go for it and have some fun and just make some memories because I can't wait till when I have kids one day and I'm, you know, touring colleges with them and I'll tell them about my good old days. Like I, I want to have good old days to talk about. So those are my tips for you guys. I hope this was somewhat helpful for you. If you guys have any tips for me or for the other Dan fam members, comment down below. Great college experience tips. We'd love to hear them. Great high school tips, whatever. Let's all just support each other in the comments down below because college is a huge transition and I know that and I'm trying so hard to make it an easier transition for you guys. I